the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 6, verses 1 to 6. Jesus went to his hometown and his disciples accompanied him. With the coming of the Sabbath, he began teaching in the synagogue, and most of them were astonished when they heard him. They said, Where did the man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been granted him? And these miracles that are worked through him? This is the carpenter, surely the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph, and Jude and Simon. His sisters too, are they not here with us? And they would not accept him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is only despised in his own country, among his own relations, and, his, and in his own house. And he could work no miracle there, though he cured a few sick people by laying his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we just heard the Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verses 1 to 6, where Jesus is rejected by his own people. There is a passage at the beginning of John's Gospel, and there we hear what we have heard in today's gospel. It is about Jesus, how his own people reject him. The gospel of John says, He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. He came to his own people, and his own people did not accept him. John chapter 1 verses 10 to 11. Perhaps today's gospel is inviting us to be with Jesus in the profound suffering that must have caused him. You might then let Jesus be with you in the ways you suffer when people are not sensitive, show no respect for your dignity as a human being or the child of God. As Jesus was rejected, we too are rejected many a times by our own people, in our families, in our communities. Let us ask the Lord to give us the grace as He bore the sufferings, the pain of rejection. So too we may be with him and be strengthened in our own suffering. Amen. I